I've also a photographer before anything else. And I know this is going to sound like a cliche, but I am interested by processes by that are by default invisible. And um, as many photographers, processes that are secret. And um, everything that I do in a research leads up to this image, uh, where an image becomes a framework for what cannot be seen. If it wasn't for a research or investigation, um, the photograph to me would be showing nothing. What happens is I usually get rejected when I ask for a photograph. Uh, I would ask for a photograph during an interview with a company or with a broker or um, with even an intelligence services. And it's a very standard um, system of request and rejection where I become the requester and they become the power to reject this. And then what I try to do is to ask them, well, how about at the door? What about outside? Where is that distance? And uh, this for me is the disruptive, disruptive element that allows us to switch out of this assumed position and allow my subject to draw the perimeter of secrecy, be it um, uh, real or imaginative. Uh, this also changes then um, how the question and answers develop. In regard to a Swiss company, for example, uh, I found an office which was a, a very home-like uh, um, building. A director was sitting there all along. He asked me to take off my shoes. He invited me in for tea. He asked me to put on slippers. We can see the cows pasting on the, on the green, on the background. And uh, this is a very small company that responded f that's responsible for brokering a lot of very serious defense deals around the world. And at the same time, we're just sitting there drinking tea and, and it's all so serene and Swiss. And uh, we talked for a while and he answered some of my questions and he did not answer some of my other questions. And he went into the traditional um, ideological discussion of, well, if we're not going to sell it, someone else will, and there are bad guys, and all of these things that you hear it over and over again. And then I asked him, well, can I make a photograph here? And then he said no. And I said, uh, well, where can I make a photograph? And then usually this is a place where they stumble, and then we start to have this conversation, and they look very surprised. But uh, because he's Swiss and he's so acquainted with the law, um, he just said, like, well, your legal distance is outside the perimeter of the house. And that was the end. Aesthetic is interesting, and this is a question that I've gotten in my practice before. Uh, what I do, uh, the arrangement is present there, but it's not my arrangement. The arrangement is provided by the industry or the state or the entities that I am researching. Asking the people who reject the photograph to define the place where the photograph can be made allows them to take part in that arrangement.